Hi, こんにちは。アスカ先生です。Hi, I'm Asuka 先生。You're a Japanese teacher. Today I'm talking about this kanji related kanji words. This kanji is mizu. Do you know how to write mizu? This is in one and then center and then two, three, four. Yeah. And then sanzu is you can find the left side of kanji words. One, two, three. So top. Middle and then from bottom to top. It's like squashed katakana shi shape. Okay, so this, if you find this shape in the on the left side of the kanji character, it is related to the mizu water. Okay, so I show you some kanjis today, uh, you know, which have sanzui. Okay, um, these three. Shapes in three lines. Okay, so the first one is C. Do you know how to say C? Umi. This is Umi. Umi means sea or ocean. So this is Umi. And then next one is Oyogimas. If you go to sea, you definitely want to swim. Oyogimasu. Oyogimasu is Oyogimasu. Nagimasu. So this is swim. Okay. And then maybe you can swim in the pond. Not many people <laughs> will swim in the pond, but so this is Ike. Means pond. All right? And then another related word is cry. Ooh. If you cry, you get tears. So, ah,、uh, sorry, no. This is na kimas. Na kimas. Means cry, okay. And then,、um, if you wash, you use water. So wash is also araimas. Araimas. We use this kanji character. Yeah. So as you can see, there is three. Lines part in each kanji characters, yes. So it shows they are related to water. And maybe you have one big question. Oh, Asuka sensei, I know one kanji character, but it doesn't seem that kanji character related to the water. A good question. Maybe you are talking about this kanji character, yes. Kanji s k a n Yes, so kanji. Yes, so kanji. The first kanji character of this one has three lines. It should be related to water, but it means kanji, Chinese characters, why this kanji character has this sanzui. Good question. Actually, this. Kanji's kan means China or Chinese people.、Um, the reason is this、um, there is a big river in, a, in, a, in the area、um, in ancient China. And then,、uh, well, still there are, but there is uh, uh, that Kan River. But the、uh, um, In ancient China, there was a kingdom around that area, so they are called Khan. Yes, so and then this was the kingdom's name, Khan, but uh, it's um, because other people called Chinese people using this kingdom's name, Khan, so that's why nowadays, well,、um, from the ancient period. This kanji character 
represents Chinese people or Chinese、um, culture. So that's why kanji means you know, Chinese character. Yes, so kanji. So this kanji is related to, originally related to the Kan River, the one of the river's n a m e in China. But nowadays we use this kanji character related to Chinese things, Chinese people, Chinese. Um, um, words or Chinese you know, characters. Yes, so we use this kanji to represent Chinese cultural things. So that's why nowadays it's not directly related to water, but still, originally it was related to the water because it was the name of Kan River, one of the rivers in China. Okay, hope it helps. So, I hope this video、um, helps you to learn kanji well. If you are interested in learning kanji, I recommend you to get this book, Japanese Kanji for Beginners.、Uh, it is written by me. <laughs> so,、um, you can learn lots of kanji characters and kanji words in this book. So, if you are interested in it, check this book in your local Amazon shop. Okay, see you next time. Sayonara, またね